What up, YouTube? Welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting my page. Please hit that like button and that subscribe button on your way in, or on your way out, or you can hit the dislike button. All the engagement counts. Thank you. <laughs> I wanted to make a video today about Amazon Relay. What I noticed online is that, well, first let me say, when I was doing my research online, when I was first starting getting into the box trucking game, I noticed a lot of people were saying, you know, there's not a lot of money in the box trucking. And, you know, one of the things they were saying was Amazon doesn't pay. I have always learned that, you know, I'm a type of person that was stubborn and I like to learn for myself and see things for myself. So it was exactly what I did. You know, I got myself together and started a box truck company. Anyway, I got into the Amazon Relay app and I really started to like Amazon. Because initially, when I started, I was doing OTR. I was going over the road. I was going to Colorado. I'm from Virginia. I live in Virginia. I was going to Colorado, going to Georgia, going to Mississippi. Me and, me and my wife, together in a truck, being away from my kids. And I was like, man, this, this, this can't work. This, this can't happen. So when we got approved for Amazon Relay, I was ecstatic because those was local loads. Only difference was, you know, I know here in Virginia, the loads start at 11 o'clock at night. That was just one facility. That's when I started. That's before I knew they had multiple facilities. So for those who's trying to learn the Amazon Relay app, first you need to learn Amazon. So in your area, you need to know how many Amazons are in your area. So for instance, there's about five to six facilities that's, a, that's in a 50 mile radius from my home. It's good to know, right? The reason why you want to know that is there's an app on the Amazon Relay app called Poster Truck. You want to know that because that's the most important feature on the app. See, people treat the Amazon Relay app like it's a low board, like it's the DAT, the DAT low board, or a 123 low board, and that's not what it is. That's not how it works, all right? Amazon is a facility, a packaging facility that get packages from all over the world from people who's buying stuff on a daily basis so a lot of amazon loads they don't know until the last minute and then amazon computer generate loads based upon sales that amazon makes so with that being said you want to utilize the poster truck because those loads the best loads the best rates and the best mileage are reserved for those who reserve their truck for the company. So if you're looking just to come in and I'm gonna get on the load board, I'm gonna look for the best load, it's not gonna happen. You're gonna be taking those 200 mile plus loads for $2.25, 250 or $1.98. See, in further videos down the line, we're gonna, I'm gonna uh, discuss how to properly post your truck. But today I just want to, you know, knock that myth of you can't make money with Amazon Relay because the low board don't pay. That's not true. People just don't know how to work the low board. And as you can see, I do $500 to $1,000 a day with Amazon because I properly understand their low board, their system, them as a company, the things, how they operate. And that's what you're going to have to do as a box truck owner. You're going to have to understand your business. You're going to have to understand logistics. For instance, right? You want to know how many gallons your truck holds. All right, for instance, my truck holds 70 gallons. So I'm going to take that 70 gallons and times that by the diesel gas price. Gas prices currently in my state is $4.99 a gallon. Okay, so it's going to take approximately $350 to fill my tank. Now, the average 20 foot long box truck gets between four to six miles per gallon. So for my truck, that'll be about 350 to 400 miles on a full tank. Now with me knowing that, I know that if I go to the load board and I book a load for 200 miles, even if it's $3 a mile, that's just the load, that, that's just the mileage of the load. So I get the load for, I get the load for $3 a mile, 200 miles, that's $600. Now I have to drive, one, my dead head. So say my dead head is the max. So I just say my dead head 30 miles. So it's 30 miles to get to the facility. 200 miles from the facility to get to the place. 
So then I'm 230 miles from my home. So that's 200. So we did 30 miles to the facility, 200 miles to the stop. So that's 230. Then we got another. Then we got 230 miles back home for Deadhead. That's 460 miles. I just said my truck only can go about 350 to 400 miles on the 14th. I said it cost me 300 and what, uh, $350 to fill it. Now with 200 miles, it's gonna take me at least a, what, about 12 hours in my day? So 600 minus that 350, that's 250. That means I made $250 in a 12 hour workday. Operating like that, uh, thinking you're gonna operate like that and not understand you're over here, you're gonna fail. I don't care what you do. I don't care what you do in life. I don't, it ain't got to be trucking. If you don't understand your business and understand you're over here and understand what things cost and sometimes it costs less, it's cheaper just to not even run your truck because sometimes you're paying to take these loads. Once you understand that, you understand how to play the game. Once again, don't listen to people, these negative nannies. You can do whatever you want to do long as you put your mind to it. I learned this system, and in my first year, I made $150,000 on one truck. When I tell you I only work eight hours a day, $500 to $1,000 per truck a day. I taught my wife how to drive a truck, and then she drives a truck with me. We got two trucks. We drive a truck on our own. You want to know my hardest problem is? Trusting somebody to drive my trucks for me. Stay tuned, y'all. Peace.